Hey everybody, um, as you all know, I've been kind of taking a hiatus due to different reasons, um, and now, well, another reason is going to come to light, um, I'm in the process of trying to change my diet, um, getting rid of bread is the big one, um, so that includes cookies, crackers, things like that, but substituting them for gluten-free versions of, uh, of those things, and I know gluten-free gets a lot of flack because, oh, gluten-free is so expensive, um, which is true, you're, with most gluten-free loaves of bread, you're looking at anywhere from four to six, upwards of seven or eight dollars, compared to a normal, standard, off-the-shelf, you know, regular white bread loaf you can pay less than a dollar for, um, but uh, for me, it's, it's more of a health thing, you know. Um, somebody told me that if you drop bread out of your diet, I uh, usually lose a lot of weight, but the hard part is you also have to get rid of caffeine and sugar and things like that. It's kind of hard. So, but anyways, here's, uh, here's the product I'm going to try for you. It's called the Enjoy Life Chocolate Flavor Confectionery Bar Rice Milk Crunch. It is allergy friendly. And it is, their products are free from gluten and wheat, which is typically what most gluten products have. Uh, peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, casein, soy, egg, sesame, sulfites, lupin, mustard, fish, shellfish, and crustaceans. Bunch of hell. Mustard or some of those other things would get into uh, a candy bar, but anyways, this is the Enjoy Life. Chocolate flavor confectionery rice milk crunch bar, and it was a dollar fifty. So a little more than your standard, you know, off the shelf candy bar, but hmm, it's good. It'll definitely be worth a shot. Um, maybe buying more of in the future as a treat. Um, but typically, I uh, I've been finding that Kroger's is very helpful in finding when you're looking for candies and things like that that are gluten free and things like that. Some things you may have to actually, um, you may have to actually read the labels, but most of the time it'll say on there, um, that's gluten free, or it'll have the circle with the GF, which is kind of hard to see here, but, oh crap, let's see here, so you can see that. It's a little circle there that says GF. Which means gluten free. It's still good for about a year. Um, I will warn you though, if you buy gluten free bread or have to, it lasts about three to f two or three days. And then your best suggestion is if you don't think you're going to eat it in that two or three day time period. Um, after you've opened it initially, then uh, put it in the freezer. Otherwise, if you can go through a loaf, a small loaf like that, then just leave it in your refrigerator uh, section somewhere. So here we go. This is, again, Enjoy Life Natural Brands out of Chicago, Illinois. This is good for almost yeah, a year and a half. Um... The ingredients are cane sugar, cocoa butter, unsweetened chocolate, rice crisps, rice flour, rice bran, raisin juice concentrate, honey and salt, dried rice syrup and salt, made in a dedicated nut and gluten-free facility. So, this is what the bar looks like. You can break off, it's like a little four-piece bar. We're going to break off this one. And if it doesn't suck, uh, I will enjoy the rest later on tonight. But it smells really good. I don't like a dark chocolate, but oh. Mmm. That's pretty good. It tastes almost like a dark chocolate. Some of those ingredients or the raisin juice or something didn't really taste. Honestly, if you didn't know. This was a, this wasn't a gluten-free, allergy-free bar. 
It tastes just like a, a Renesli Crunch. Wow. Very impressive because one of the hardest things with gluten free foods in some cases are to make them delicious. Um, Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch. I'm not gonna lie, his stuff is hit or miss. Um, you know, whatever. And speaking of Robert Irvine, I was flipping the channels. Has anyone seen he now has a talk show on the CW bit of the Robert Irvine show? It is awful. It looks like a bad Jerry Springer kind of ripoff. You know, he's just kind of sitting there. Oh, so he's been doing uh, suspicious things. And, uh, you know. I mean, you get, and you got to understand that this is Jack, so he can't, like, sit up in the chair, like, straight. He's just kind of like... Ugh. I'm just like, I was sitting there watching, I was like, dude, you just need to go back to your Food Network shows or whatever. Um, yeah. So if you get the chance, uh, don't watch the Robert Irvine show, but do continue to watch uh, Word of Mouth Food Reviews. And again in time, we'll review um, gluten-free breads and things like that. But I will suggest um, Kroger's seven grain uh, gluten free bread is pretty good, and then Walmart has a Sam's Club multi grain, which I think is about five or six dollars. The Kroger one's about four. Um, Kroger's is a seven grain. The Walmart is the Sam's Club. It's like a multi grain, and that's the other downside to. Um, the gluten-free bread is that it's nowhere near as big as your standard, you know, off-the-shelf loaves uh, from everybody else. Like, you know, you can make a decent, decent little sandwich, you know, for grilled cheese or whatever. But you'll notice that with most, um, with most of the, um, what is it? I can't even think. Brain fart. With most of the um, gluten-free breads, it's about half. About. They're very small pieces unless you buy like a gluten free Texas toast. And even then, it's probably still not going to get it. It's, I don't know if it's because of the whole, you know, the wheat and the, the yeast and all that interaction helps make the loaf size bigger. Or I'm not, I don't know the whole science behind why uh, gluten free bread is so small. But, anyways, I enjoy it. Um, and then I also tried uh, Amy's, which is a uh, Good, ba good brand of frozen foods if you're uh, worried about gluten-free because I don't know how the other brands handle gluten-free, if they are gluten-free or if they, you know, whatever. But uh, especially some of the cheaper brands that are lower quality, they might have to use a lot of wheats and glutens to um, hold some of their products together. But anyways, so that's me, the webmaster here, all dressed up from a wedding, doing a review of the uh, Enjoy Life Chocolate Confectionery Bar. Um, what is it called? Rice Milk Ranch. 100% allergy friendly, so if you have anybody that has allergies that used to love chocolate, this is highly recommended. Even if you don't have allergies, highly recommended. It's good quality. You don't have to worry about the ingredients. You can read all of the ingredients in there. There's no corn syrups, no strange products, no strange... Um, ingredients, no yellow number 5 and blue 62 or whatever. It's literally a full list of things you can, you know, read and know what they are. So, anyways, this is the Webmaster here. Word of mouth food reviews. All dressed up. Um, obviously I won't be doing all the food reviews dressed up like this. It's just, it's how today worked out. So, you get to see me all dressed up. Um, had to go to a wedding. So, what can I say? I look darn good. Check me out. Um, this is the webmaster here for Word of Mouth Food Reviews. Um, yeah, more reviews coming soon. Um, again, I can't put a timetable on anything just because um, I've had some stuff happen in my life. Um, lost a good friend uh, to the, the drug epidemic that's going on in this city and many others. Um, so... 
uh, just got to be strong and stuff for the family and uh, send them the best their way. Uh, but this drug epidemic thing's getting really out of hand. It's taking some really good people. Um, but I won't get on my tangent about that. Um, go ahead and sign off. Webmaster, word of mouth food reviews. Peace out.